Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Jira administrator tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how you are going to change the default settings within Jira site. So now previously we have understood about the hierarchy. So there is a org admin and then below there, below the organization admin, you will be doing the job of the Jira admin. You could be both. So Jira admin and the org admin, if you are a small organization, but overall if in the bigger organization, there will be organization level admin who will be managing different sites um, the the billing and a lot of other information and the Jira administrator will be managing a specific so, sort of say for example site okay so now we have created two sites here RC Academy hi from India IN and then AU now as part of the Jira administrator course we will be focusing on the Jira admin topics okay and we'll be going through the ACP 120 uh, exam topics and we'll we'll be going to cover all of those but before that, we are building our basics, right? So we are building the very, very finer basics. So you can go ahead and build all of that. Now, clearing Jira exams is not easy. So you have to make sure that you follow along, you do practice and then go ahead and attempt the exam. Okay, so uh, let's go to one of the site, right? So usually as a Jira administrator, we'll go to the site and that's where we'll be working from here on. All right. So on the particular site, say for example, this is the uh, site rcv academy hyphen au and as a jira administrator you will go to the settings right and then within the settings you will see if i scroll down uh, because i am the org admin as well i am getting these class in admin options here as well for user management billing etc but as a jira administrator you will get jira settings and your personal settings so if i go to the system here okay to manage the general general configuration you have to go to the system so go to cogwheel go to system and then open the general it will uh, by default open the general configuration okay now within general configuration we'll understand a couple of things for example general settings right so the title at the moment is Jira okay so I can go ahead and go and click on edit settings to change any of these general settings here and the language right so if I go to the edit settings let's change a couple of things here so application title is Jira at the moment I'll make it custom for my specific organization so i'll say rcv academy and then email from whatever full name and the jira right so basically that's how the email will go so for example a person within your organization say the person name is john doe uh, then in brackets jira and that's how the email will be sent through the mail server so if you want to change it you can go ahead and change it but i'll keep it as default in the introduction you can type a short introduction message that will be displayed on the dashboard right so i'll say this is short rcv academy intro okay now internationalization basically what what's language you want to select right so there are different languages uh, wherein you can go ahead and choose and these are some of the installed languages now in terms of language you'll see the default language at the moment is english united states and the region etc whatever zone you are in you can go ahead and change it because i have signed it uh, in australia so you'll see the time zone automatically reflects to the default or the local time zone that i am in okay now the language options whatever are available here you can go ahead and use jira accordingly in those particular languages okay by changing the default language option as as a jira administrator now if we go back uh, below here you will see different options around voting status watching etc you can turn these toggles on and off accordingly as a jira admin then the project name size you can project key size all of these are configurable minimum is 2 10 is recommended so whatever is recommended i'll keep it here but for your knowledge you know that how you can go ahead and configure general settings i'm covering all of these so you can go ahead and read all of these configurations right so allow unassigned issues basically it allows issues to be assigned to no one or unassigned if turned off issues issues will always be assigned to someone right so if you change it to off that means always whenever the issue will be created will be assigned to someone say for example by default lead if it is on it will allow the issues to be unassigned logout confirmation email visibility all of these are general configurations that you can go ahead and read nothing too tricky about any of these configurations right it's more of reading these and then ensuring whether you want to turn it on or turn it off right jql autocomplete 
issue picker auto complete you can turn on and off all of those right by default you will see all the settings that are default here that's the recommended sort of setting okay and then contact administrators message so this message is basically something this custom message will appear above the form only if contact administrator form is on right so basically contact administrator form if you say on which what it will do is enable users to contact administrators by displaying an email form this can be used with a custom message right so if i turn this contact administrators form okay and i'll say hi admin the message will basically appear okay if someone will try to contact the administrator then if you allow gravitas turn it on and then auto update search results on or off okay so these are some of the important general configurations that are available that you can go ahead as a jira admin and change all right now if we go back and save it so update once you change it and update you will see general configuration will go ahead and save and now the title okay if you see here the title has changed to rcv academy okay so if i go back here say for example let me go back okay so you'll see that it is rcv academy the title is no more jira it is rcv academy okay so this is basically how you are going to configure general settings or update general settings within jira go to cogwheel go to your system settings within your system you'll get the general configuration go ahead explore the general configuration play around with the settings and be comfortable so at the moment you'll see general con configuration whatever is enabled whatever options are enabled that's how you will see it. if you want to edit go ahead and edit these in the advanced settings we'll cover more in the upcoming tutorials okay so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful see you in the next lecture